and welcome back. I'm actually really excited about filming this video. I feel like I've not done a kind of sit down with you and talk about products and fashion in a while. So I've been really looking forward to this and I've kind of gone everywhere finding my products for this video and I'm like, yeah, I'm really, really excited about filming this today. So let's just kind of get into it. It's been a while since I filmed anything very fashion luxury related. So there's gonna be quite a lot of new products in this video that you won't have seen before. But rest assured, these were not bought at the same time, in the same month, or anything like that. They've been bought over the last six months or so. Um, very much spread out. Some of them were bought with vouchers, some of them were bought with my own money, some were bought with discount codes. But I wanted to show you everything in case you had your eye on anything. And just to generally talk about how much we love luxury fashion, pretty much. I'm just going to kick this off with the bag that I probably bought the longest time ago. And it is this bag. I think I may have shown this in a favourites video, but I've not really talked through the actual bag itself that much, I don't think. But just in case I have, I'm going to kind of speed through it, I don't want to kind of bore anyone with this. But this is the Gucci Dionysus bag, I think it's kind of like a raspberry floral, I'm not too sure what the actual colour is, but of course I'll leave it linked down below. It has a really cool snake with the little lion heads on it, so it's really cool features. Very chunky strap, in fact I've got the other part of the strap from inside here to protect it. So it's got this double strap or you can wear it as a single strap if you prefer like this but I just completely fell in love with this bag when I saw it and I've used it so much since it's such a good size um, so inside it has like three pockets one two three so you can actually fit quite a lot in here so I can fit my camera in my phone quite a lot of makeup keys etc and I love the fact that this mechanism is so like satisfying to click um, so it just clicks in perfectly so you're not kind of worrying that everything's going to fall out. It's a very secure bag and it's just, I don't know, I just really love this bag. I'm so glad I got it. I'm like so happy that I took the plunge and bought this. If you can, let me sit up for you so you can actually see. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, it's a total, total beauty and yeah, I'm so glad I picked this up. I'm just going to mix this up between clothes, accessories and shoes. So the next thing I'll show you was actually a wonderful gift from Avenue 32 and it is this beautiful Peter Pilotto Bardo top in this wonderful chambray kind of material elasticated around the bust so you can get a really good kind of fit around your arms. It billows out into these wide but short um, sleeves, kind of like mini sleeves. Again it's quite A-line in its shape and it sort of almost flows out a bit parachute style but it's extremely flattering and it's got a beautiful floral lace detail across the bust so it's just so pretty every time I wear this everyone's always complimenting me on it everyone's just like where is that from so beautiful and I remember seeing this when I went to watch the Peter Pilotto show like last year and thinking how much I loved it so as soon as it came out into stores it's totally totally smitten I had a look at my new 32 and I work with them quite often and they were very very kind of to send it me as a gift if you know me well, you'll know that I usually always have two big suitcases. I don't know what it is about them, they're just very, very sturdy. They have the four wheels in the bottom, which are kind of like rose gold, so they're super cute. They're the perfect size, like this one fits inside the cabin, so it's great for carry-on luggage. And then I always usually have the matching middle suitcase and also the larger suitcase. Because you guys know I travel so much and I always need very, very good suitcases. And I have used my pink one to the depths of despair, it is now ragged, it just <laughs> doesn't look quite as pretty as it used to, so I needed some new ones, oh, and these are those, really gorgeous, these are called the platinum range, the floral on it is a little bit more subtle than the last season, and I like the fact it's quite silvery and, I don't know, there's something a little bit more kind of masculine and cool about these rather than the very kind of bright, girly, pretty, yeah, great. Next up is another Gucci bag. So I saw this on Kendall Jenner's Instagram, actually. She has this one in red and black. Totally fell in love with it. I love the way that the straps are made of this metal rather than just the usual leather straps, which is quite a different feature for a backpack, especially at the moment. I just wanted something a little bit more unique. And the fact this was all black meant that I knew if I took it to festivals or if I took it on holiday, it wouldn't get damaged quite as easily as if it was maybe a tan or a different colour and again this kind of fits quite a lot inside actually it's got quite a lot of space Ooh, got some bits in here from my last trip this would be like the perfect festival backpack size you can fit pretty much everything in here plus like a big bottle of water etc plus it's got the front pocket as well so yeah i thought this was adorable and i actually bought this in duty free at the airport where it had like 200 pound off it and because i've had my eye on it i thought i'll treat myself so i thought i'll get it as like a pre-holiday pre-birthday 
big treat. Next up is a bag that I got from Vestiaire Collective. If you've never heard of Vestiaire, it's a website where you can sell your secondhand or used clothing, shoes, accessories, all of that. It's kind of like a very, very high class eBay style. And they wanted to work with me and we worked on a little project together and in return they gifted me this incredible bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Cappuccino BB bag in the grey and the tan. I'm not too sure, again I'll leave a link down below. But I was totally smitten with it and I absolutely love this whole Cappuccino's range. So when I saw this I was like this is like the perfect bag for me. So it comes in the tan leather strap tan fastenings so this fastening goes into a little fastening here so that clips together it doesn't really clip together it just kind of pushes together like this it's obviously got the lv on the front and this is a fabric it's a white and black thread woven fabric so of course you've got to be a bit more careful with this you can't be kind of putting it in the dirt or the soil but i really love it and so far so good i haven't ruined this yet it's still looking like as good as new and literally this was kind of this is second hand and it looks absolute perfection so if you're looking for any kind of second hand bags or bags for a bit of a cheaper price and have a look on there <sighs> i'm absolutely boiling it is so hot in the uk right now and, whew, it's getting hotter and hotter Next up is this stunning cream lace blouse from Templey. I love the Templey brand. I think she makes some absolutely incredible dresses and a lot of things are very kind of lacy and very romantic. And I saw this and immediately fell in love. It's like a white cream crochet lace, very, very delicate. And of course it's somewhat see-through but I just always wear like a white bra with this. You could even wear a very kind of pretty lacy white bra underneath if you like to. It doesn't really bother me because it is still so much going on in the front that I kind of feel like if someone wants to look at my bra then that's kind of up to them. Otherwise everything else is kind of so beautiful up here. It's just a beautiful, beautiful top. Crochet effect around the neckline is just absolutely stunning. So yeah, I thought you might like to see this. Next we have a pair of shoes from Malone Soulier. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, Malone Soulier. And I had my eye on these for so long. They're a little bit different for me, I think, because they're so bright and I usually go for kind of like red, black or cream. I think in a lot of shoes, or quite often, yeah, red, black or cream. And these being so kind of multicolored and rainbow effect, I don't know, but it's really, really stood out to me. And they're also massively on sale, which makes a huge difference, like 70% off now. So I'll leave the link down below for those. So you can wrap them and lace them up around your leg, which is a style that I am adoring right now, to be honest, to have so many things that you can kind of strap up your leg. But they're just very, very pretty. And again, I get so many compliments on these because they're just so dramatic and different and very, very unique. I really should have prepared these before I started talking. But yeah, that looks much better. Yeah. But they're such a love issue, very statement, the kind of thing you can wear with like black jeans and a black top or, well, you could even wear like a red dress with these, you could wear a green dress. I'd say anything that kind of falls into these categories or navy, like navy jeans or light blue jeans, skirts, navy shorts, denim shorts. They're very, very cool and yeah, I love these to bits. A new pair of sunnies. These are a pair from Victoria Beckham and they look like this. They're probably quite dirty now actually on the lenses, but these are huge aviator style. Very, very mirrored. You can probably see yourself right now. <laughs> but these are so cool. I mean, I love the aviator style anyway. I'm a big fan of Victoria Beckham. I'm just a big, big fan of huge sunglasses. So these completely screamed out to me at the time. The fact it's like this purple, purple pearlescent finish on the lenses. I was just like, oh, I need these in my life. So I wore these last week when I went to Vegas and when I was in LA and it's a very kind of big statement sunglass. Yeah, so those are the V. And another thing that I thought I would show you that I'm just so totally in love with are my brand new Jean Vito Rossi's. So these are another pair of Calabria court shoes with the kind of plexi fit plastic here. I already have one pair in white and cream, which I've worn to death. In fact, I'm thinking of repurchasing those shoes because I wear them so often. My kind of money per wear is so minuscule. I love them to bits, so they're so comfortable. And these were in sale, they were like 40-50% off I think. And I absolutely adored the kind of Aztec style print in the gold threads and the cream backing. I mean these are kind of wearing now because I've worn them quite a bit already. And also when I was away I was on grass with these and they got grass stains all the way up and on the toes. And I was like oh my god this is ridiculous. And somehow I managed to scrub it off, like lightly, but they completely come off. Like I thought these would be 
such fragile shoes and in fact they've cleaned so perfectly. So yeah, I just love these two bits. As you know, Javita Rossi is like my thing. So when I saw these on sale, it's like, yeah, they have to be in my collection. So that is everything for the moment. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and having a little bit more of a look into my luxury wardrobe at the moment. I'm really, really loving these pieces, so I really wanted to show you. And as always, I'll leave everything linked down below so you can go straight to them if you really, really like them. But if you're new here, please do hit the subscribe button. I make two videos a week, Wednesdays and Sundays, so it'd be great to have you back. And if you like the video, then please do like it because it makes me so happy. And it's just great to kind of see which kind of videos you like the most. So let me know. And again, I guess that's everything so I'll see you soon guys bye Mwah.